Well, hello there. Today's story is about the one time that I drove all the way to the mall and all I wanted was a mini bond and it turned into a whole adventure. If you're asking why I specifically wanted a mini bond, T-Mobile Tuesdays. I love it. It's great. They give you free stuff. One Tuesday, they were offering free mini bonds at Cinnabon. I get dressed up nicely, I drive all the way to the mall, and I'm super excited. I go inside, I look at some books, and I get a coffee. Story of my life. Story of my life. I take her home. I drive all night to keep her warm and time. It's frozen. I don't understand that song entirely. Why don't you just let her go in the heated house? Anywho, so I have my coffee. I walk over to the Cinnabon place and and the girl who is at the counter, she's sitting there on her phone. Uh, hi, excuse me, can I order? Oh, we're not open yet. Well, it's 11 o'clock, I thought it opened at nine. No, it depends on when the update is done on the computer. Any like just ballpark estimate? Probably 12.45, I would guess. All right, cool. So I have like 45 minutes to do something. I figured I would just walk around and enjoy my coffee. So I'm walking through the mall. I'd only gone a, a couple hundred feet and all of a sudden I hear this someone mumbling through the mask. It's one of the guys at the mall kiosks. In the past, I would have kept walking and just assumed he wasn't talking to me. However, I have recently had a job where I was ignored, people pretended they didn't hear me. So I have a new level of compassion for anyone who does a job like that. You know what? I'm gonna let him know I heard him and I'm gonna be kind and turn around and say pardon me. I'm sorry, what did you say, sir? Uh... Did, did, you, did you say something? Yes! I'm sorry. Your eyes are just very distracting. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. Oh yeah, I got a job to do. Okay, a uh, bracelet. He proceeds to show me some bracelets he has and I don't do small talk, okay? I just, even when I try, it always ends up on some deep conversation. We end up talking about politics, racism, the state of the United States. You know what state the United States is in. Does that make sense? Anyway, the great thing is, now it was almost time to go get a Cinnabon. Huh? Huh? We said goodbye and I walked to go get my Cinnabon. I go up to the desk and I'm very excited at this point. Hi, uh, uh, are you open now? Oh no, not yet. The system's not done updating. Oh, do you know when it'll be done? I only came to actually get Cinnabon for my friends and I. So I, that's, I just wanted to know. I would say one o'clock. Oh, great. I'll just wait over there. I go sit down in the food court. Time goes by. As time goes by. And all of a sudden, I see someone walk past me with a bag of Cinnabon. <laughs> They're open. Yes, I can get some. I walk up to the desk. Hi, you open now? Yes, we're open. What would you like? I have the coupon from T-Mobile, the free mini bon. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, someone just bought them all. What? Someone just bought all the mini bonds right before you came. You know what? I'll just take a cinna stick. <laughs> okay. I was a little upset. The whole reason I went was because I had a free coupon for a free mini bond. That, that, that's all I wanted. So I walk away without the mini bond and I get in the car very annoyed. And all of a sudden I start laughing because I realize how ridiculous the whole situation was. One person gets ahead of me, even though I've been waiting for 45 minutes, almost an hour, and they buy all of the mini bonds. Who does that? Who buys all the mini bonds they have? The moral of this story is, even when nothing goes your way, when everything goes the exact opposite of what you intended, just laugh. Don't let the little things get you down. Well, I hope you have an amazing, super fantastical, wonderful day. Bye. Just hit myself. Bye. Much less violent. Where was I? Oh, yes. Okay.